Hey guys, I'm Dee Monique. In this video, I'm sharing with you guys a fat burning cream that will get your abs to pop. You know, after one use, your abs will not show. With multiple use and a healthy diet, you can see your abs peeking through. With this being said, let's get into my fat burning cream for abs. Let's get started. First, you will need some baking soda. This baking soda I purchased off of Amazon with my own money. You will need some Vicks Vapor Rub. You will need some alum. You will need some frankincense essential oil, vitamin E oil, a bowl and measuring spoons. First, we need to add one tablespoon of baking soda. Yeah, one tablespoon of the alum powder. One tablespoon of Vicks Vapor Rub. Half a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil. Do one fourth of the essential oil. Mix together. When it's all mixed together, this is how it's supposed to look. Just like this. Nice and fluffy. You guys, now it's time for us to go up and apply this. So you want to get in the shower, make sure your body is all clean and your pores is open in order to receive the fat burning cream that you're going to apply. Once you get in the bathroom, you will need some plastic wrap. You will need measuring tape. And we need something to hold the plastic wrap in place. I am wearing my fat burning cream to work. I need to hold it in place. I will be moving around. This is my belly prior to applying the cream. All right. And here's the side. I did eat some cheese yesterday and I am bloated. Let's measure 28 inches. 32 and 3 fourths. You can see that. Please do a patch test prior to applying it to your entire belly. It's pretty light. I will have some left over. If you wanted to do your arms or your legs or your thighs, you will have enough to do that. If you are bigger than me, you can just double up on your ingredients. At any time, if this is irritating to your skin, please rinse it off. This does not burn. If you do not like the consistency of this paste, just add a little bit more Vicks and it'll make it a little bit more creamy for you. If you cannot afford Vicks, you can get the chest rub from the dollar store. All done applying this. When you apply the plastic, you wanna make sure that you suck in your abdomen i just want to say thank you guys for watching me if you are new here welcome if you're not new thank you for sticking around if you know anything about me the things that i show here on youtube i actually use i do not use my hand i use my actual body if these things do not work you will never see it so trust and believe if i'm showing you something I truly believe that it works. You guys, not everything is for everyone. You have to find something on this channel that works for you. I have to change it up. I can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again because if I do, I get bored. I don't know if you guys are like me. Comment down in the comment section. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I get bored and I have to switch it up. Being on YouTube is not easy. I have thick skin. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. This is my outlet since my mom passed away. I use my energy to focus on encouraging others and helping others on their weight loss journey or a healthier lifestyle. You guys, thank you for your support. Let's get back to the reason why you're here, this video. This is hands down the best waist trainer on Amazon. No, you cannot smell the Vicks coming through my clothes. The leftover here, I'm just gonna cover it. Take the plastic wrap, take the extra. Cover it with this plastic wrap, secure it nice and tight and place it in in the refrigerator until the next use. Don't keep it longer than three days in the refrigerator. Is this worth doing at home versus going out and paying 200 or more dollars for a body wrap versus making this at home? You guys, I did some research and I wanna share with you guys, so please pay attention to my screen. The first problem you will run into is to trying to find a place that is open during this time. This place appears to be clean, but it has a dog and I'm allergic to dogs. So this would be another problem for me. Let's take a look and see how much these body wraps cost.
Up next. This is too expensive for me. Time and then a date. And when I get home, I will let you guys know my results. Stay tuned. All right. I have made it home from work. I am ready to take this off. It is itchy. Looking good. <laughs> All right, a few measurements before I get in the shower. I don't know if I did this one up here. It's 27 and a half. Wait. 27 and a half. 27 and a quarter. 31. Look at them ass coming out. All right. Happy fat burning abs. Oh. Hey guys. I'm popping in because I didn't share with you guys how long I kept the wrap on. I did put the wrap on about 7.30 a.m. I only worked 10 hours, but I did keep the wrap on for about 12 to 13 hours. So when I got home, I did reveal it. Now, during the course of me having it on throughout work, I did not get any irritation feeling at all as far as anything burning. I did notice, <laughs> I don't know if it was my mind playing tricks on me, but the closer I got to getting off, the more itchy it became. I did forget to take my allergy medicine. I think that could have been contributing to my itchiness, but I'm not quite sure. If you guys notice that I did have a burn on my stomach and it came from me, I will be posting that video as well. I did a thousand ab exercises with the plastic wrap and the j Scump fitness belt where it was rubbing with all the different ab exercises I did. I got a friction burn. It didn't even hurt. I didn't even notice it there until I looked in the mirror and I seen it. But far as the burning, the singing with me applying the wraps, it still wasn't irritating. Now the skin is off and now it's healing again. <sighs> What we go through, I know my eating and my drinking is under control in order for my ass to pop out. I have to do some type of physical activity. So with the month of June being here, I am incorporating physical activity into my weight loss journey, healthy lifestyle. And I will be sharing with you guys the physical activities I will be doing every week. I do work in a clinic. I'm not stationary at all. I just want to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for ranting in the video. It just sometimes, you know, you get a little irritated when people comment certain things. I hope you guys are enjoying my journey. I'm enjoying my journey. We are still quarantined and I'm still on a weight loss journey and I'm trying to get the best body I can while at home. I hope you guys are looking forward to more videos. I want you guys to know currently the plan is to upload every weekend. I have to come up with a set schedule of what I want to upload. I was thinking about doing like anything to burn fat will be posted on Friday. Sexy Saturday will be any kind of physical activity or challenges that I do and Sunday doing something along the line of sharing what I eat with you guys. I'm not quite sure yet, but I do want to incorporate some of the things that I eat because I know it's hard for me to post videos on the things that I do without sharing with you guys what type of physical activities and what type of foods I put in my body. I do want you guys to know I do um, and every now and then I eat you know, bad. I'm not perfect. I'm human. I make mistakes. But hey, I keep trying. I believe if you don't have any failures in life, you're not trying. With that being said, bye guys.